So, they've gone down to Earth. That could prove a bit of a problem. Yes. There's no need to move. Isis will return to space like the fly to the web. The Earthlings have no means to take her now. Several days ago, this city and the orbital elevator were rocked by an unidentified object which fell into the sea. Authorities now believe that there is enough evidence to suggest a connection between this incident and the inspector murders. The suspect, James Lynx, his son Leon, and daughter Noel are wanted in connection with these crimes. Meanwhile, the World Defense Surveillance Organization wired... Ugh. This is upside down! Dad! It's all your fault, you know! You got us into this mess! Sir, Uncle, what are you doing? I'll only be a minute. What's this? I hope everything's okay at the construction site. Hey, Leon, give me a hand with this, will you? Yeah, right! There's got to be some kind of memory data stored in here. Huh. Hey, maybe it's broken. <laughs> You're wasting your time with this stupid hey, thing. Hey, that hurts! Hey, Dollface, can't you help me out? I can try. James. Huh? Huh? Mama? No matter what, don't hand over Dolores. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's her! It sounds like Mama's voice, all right, but she's been dead for more than five years now. I'm not sure anymore. What? Something strange has happened. Don't hand over Dolores. Who's that? That's me. I am Dolores. All right. So what do you know about our mother? What? Why do you have this message in your memory bank? And who programmed you to learn to sing that lullaby? Talk, you stupid thing! <gasps> oh, don't yell! Answer me! Stupid robot! Hey! Ease up there, Leon. She really doesn't know anything. But she has to. I mean, where did she come from? She was just a delivery. Then deliver the Nimrod and let's be done with it, Dad! I don't know if I can. Uh, these contracts are very tricky things. Hard to get a hold of. Jeez, uh, Dad, what the hell sort oh, of right. saving people well, do you just, work for nowadays? Right on the cake. You, you were trying to convince us that you were innocent well, while all the time it was a scam from the start? Oh, please. Don't blame Sir Uncle. Tell her to back off! This sucks! I wonder if I should maybe just check in on the site. A few just... days ago, I had a life, you know, a job! Children who reject their father during a reunion are usually hiding their embarrassment at being happy. I'm turning this bucket in! Maybe it's for the best time, huh, Kitty. All right. This is crazy. Noelle and I are not smugglers and murderers. What? Be a man and face some music, Dad! Now listen, son. He's right. Why keep running? Wait a minute! We can't just turn ourselves in! At least they'd hear our side. I don't know. They didn't seem all that willing to listen the last time we tried explaining things. Well, I don't see any other way, Noel! There is. We stick together. Stick together as a family and it will all work out, you'll see. Yeah! Someday we'll look back on all this and laugh. Yeah, right. Oh, piss off, Dad! Filth! 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 The end is making a fool of me! Filth! Filth! I hate them. Chief Inspector, did it look anything like this picture? What the hell is that? What did the engineers at Naridamu say? They said they don't manufacture anything with these specifications. Oh, that's not really helpful to us at all, is it? Your drawing sucks! Dad felt the end made a fool of me and I won't let him get away with it. I'd give my stars and bars for something to get him. He makes a fool of me and he makes the whole earth look foolish. Do you understand that, Jimmy I don't care what kind of Martian firepower he's got behind him. He's not getting away with this. I want him dead. I want him fried. Now! We'll go back those five years. Your mother was conducting weapons development research in the Martian army. Yes? I want to hear the story, too. Oh. You kids know this story already, and this here, near as I can figure out, is the result of the research your mother was doing. Don't know why it was sent to me. So you're trying to say this is Mars' new secret weapon? Given the political realities between Earth and Mars and sentiments about revolution, that puts us on the blacklist of both sides. Here, Who cares kitty. about Come sides? What about your mother? Mama's dead, Dad! She's dead, and you have to accept that! The transmission is just static! It doesn't mean anything! Oh, he's yelling again! Plug it, Pinky! Hey, calm down, Leon. I'm gonna fall behind just because I'm not there. Listen, son, I feel we need to show some family solidarity here. 
Family solidarity, Dad? What pamphlet did you read that crap in? I'm really listening, Leon. I am. I know it's hard to be back with your dad after all that's happened. You know, Dad, you just can't be a father when it suits you. Huh? <sighs> you never listen to what anyone has to say. You sure as hell didn't listen when Mama told us she was leaving. You just let her go like that, Dad. You just let her walk out on us. Is that your idea of solidarity? You didn't make any big speeches then, like you didn't even care! Now I don't care. Bye. Leon, wait! You can't go to the authorities, they'll arrest you! What other choices do I have now, Dad? We'll catch the criminal ourselves. It's hopeless, we don't even know who we're looking for. And I don't fancy myself the action hero! Leon... I know it's been rough, but you have to trust me. I didn't lie. Shut up! I'll never trust you again. All of our lives, it's one thing out of your mouth and another, behind our backs. Well, you know, I for one have heard quite enough, thank you. I have to get back to work. Noel. Leon's right. I mean, I'd really like to believe that Mama built this robot and sent it to us and all that. It's just, what's the point of getting our hopes up just to have them trashed again? Wait, please! Good luck, Dad. I'm sorry I caused trouble. Why not just leave, too? I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Reap what you sow. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Hmm, everything's on schedule. I guess I was worried over nothing. Looks like Richard's got it under control. Damn it! Oh, this one isn't any good either. The construction's all going well. Well, who gives a damn? I happen to give a damn, big brother. How's it going there? It's not going. Wired is watching the company like a hawk. I can't even access the company public internet from here. I'm giving up on this. There's gotta be someone out there. Hey, you wore the big power suit today, big brother. Isn't there anyone you know who'll listen? I don't know. I can't think of anyone off at- Oh! Uh, uh huh? <clears throat> Did you think of someone or what? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh... Really? These numbers are unacceptable, do you hear me? How are we supposed to make the quarter with lousy marks like that? I'll get fed to the directors at the next meeting. You gotta do better than this, Rolf. We received several complaints since the Holy on Links thing, and a lot of clients pulled their- That's ah. enough! I don't care what it takes, but you smooth things over! Yes! Run away! What now? Secretary Bob here. Uh, I've got a call asking whether that robot they're looking for has any attachment to our company. Tell them we're a conscientious corporation and we don't kill owls or make doomsday machines. Okay. I swear. What now? It's Lynx. Great. Yes? Send this message to Wired. The design is like nothing I've seen before. Certainly not in our arsenal. It's definitely not from Earth. Interesting. Hello, Leon. Don't hang up! I wouldn't do that. Everyone's worried themselves sick about you, really. Wow. I didn't know you were dating a sugar mama. Uh, it's, she's not like that, Noel. Huh. Well, I guess I better go in. Yeah, sure. Bye! Here's her picture. <gasps> She's a married woman! Rachel? You're back. I'm sorry I'm so late. It's okay. Leon and Noel are both in their rooms already. Good. What's the matter? It's nothing. Come here. Have you eaten anything yet? What do you say we go and get a bite? I'd like that. 
It'll give us a chance to start making up for all the lost time. Lost time? What are you talking about? Just promise me this one thing. Don't hand over Dolores. Hand over? What do you mean? R Rachel, you're... Rachel? Sir Uncle? <laughs> Sorry to wake you. You were smiling. Oh, uh, was I? But I wanted to tell you, I saw a monster in the sea. A monster? It was bigger than me and moved really quietly through the water. Oh, that's a whale that you saw. Whale that you saw? Just whale. I've never seen one before. They're very rare, so you saw something pretty special out there, I guess. I can find them again. <laughs> you want to find them with me? I don't have time for games. <sighs> I could sure use a drink now. See, Linda, I'm totally innocent, but how can I explain? Seems like they're not willing to hear you out. They just assume because of my dad. It... But you don't have any proof. Uh, and without proof, they've got no reason to believe uh, you. Uh, 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 what could I do? First, calm yourself down. I think we can solve this. Start with the past. There is a file I've discovered with documents from our company linked to a Buffram Army engineer. Name, R. Lynx. Rachel, my mama. Ah! I do know a lot of people who can help you with this, Leon. Diplomats from Mars who have priority access. They can help, but it's risky and will require a deal. What? I I'll do it. You don't even know what I'm asking yet, dear boy. Uh, do you now? No. What is it? The new weaponry from Mars. In exchange for your freedom, you must hand over to us this new, secret Martian technology. And deliver your father to us as well. I'm afraid it's the only way, dear boy. There's no love lost there anyway, is there? It's not like a betrayal or anything. Besides, we're close now, aren't we? And you know you can trust me because I've taught you everything, haven't I, Leon? Haven't I taught you well? I thought so. This is just one way to show your gratitude. <laughs> Linda's going to take Dolores off of our hands. Then we can get our lives back. Let's get going, Noel. We're going to find Dad and finish this whole stinking business. West Coast, nothing out of the ordinary here. Fleet 13 also reporting nothing unusual. And I can't have just vanished off the planet. Oh, whales. Oh, yeah. I like whales with all the cleanliness and the water. It's the Rosen Trading Company, sir. <laughs> Gimme. Just give me the beer. I can't sell it unless you got a card, dude. I'm cool. Really? You could be Mr. Freeze. Rules are rules. Come on. Give a fella a break. Look, I'll pay you double, all right? It's no problem. Go buy you something nice. Huh? Uh. All right. Here, take it all, okay? <laughs> Let's have it. Huh? What? Hey, what gives? <laughs> uh. 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 What would you kids think of this, you idiot? Right. There he is! Get him! Freeze, pal! Whoa! Nice and easy. Huh? Hey! Sir oh. Uncle, I was worried. Who so are these people? New friends? Hello there. Oh. That was rude. You gotta learn to stay put, dollface. You kinda stand out in the crowd, you know what I mean? You probably ought to stick around here. I'm sorry. I was sad you had left me. <laughs> Dad! 
Oh, you're back. Of course. Excellent. Aren't we back, Noel? Yeah. Who's your friend, son? Not just a friend. She's my senior manager at the corporation, Mrs. Linda Rowland. It's quite a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Lynx. Hello. It's nice to meet you, Mrs. Rowland. Well, aren't you a special little project? This is completely different from the usual LED is technology, this isn't it? Hmm? Quite exquisite. Hmm. What's she in fact. doing here? She came to help us out by taking this stupid thing off of our hands, Dad. There's a Mars diplomat who wants to give us what we need to clear this thing up. What? Dad, we can trade the robot for information about Mama. Look, it's all been settled already, so don't fight it, okay? We'll turn this thing over and clear our names. Uh, then we can all look back and laugh. <laughs> right? Problem all solved, Dad. Thanks to me. Well, aren't you gonna say anything? Fine! Don't say anything! Leon! I don't think you really understand all this. What? I can't just turn her over. I made a promise to your mother. And I have no plan of breaking that promise. Sir Uncle? Dad! Don't be an idiot! This is our best chance of freedom! It looks like they've arrived. Ah! Uh Ugh, you traitor! God darn it! Give yourself up! This is a WDSO! Why? But... but what about the Mars Diplomat, huh? You poor little pathetic boy. Oh! Do you think I care about your sorry hide? That robot is going to fix things right for this quarter, and every quarter after once I sell the schematic. Uh. Think of it in the most positive light, sweetie. As your last favor. <laughs> the Corporation so appreciates your loyalty, of course. Don't be a hero, Lynx. I mean it. I'll kill your son. Stay where you are! All right, then I'll kill you! Ugh. My son may be a little naive, but he's still my son. And I won't tolerate anyone taking advantage of him. Steady out! Steady out! Hey, don't be! We gotta move! All right! You don't smell like alcohol today. Yeah. Miracle, huh? Leon, come uh, on! To be is left to hide! To be is left to hide! Kill again! Hey, hold on a minute! There's another one! What? Hey, stop it! But why? Those people want to hurt you, Sir Uncle. I have to protect you and your children. I'm glad for that, but you're just making more trouble for us. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, don't get all emotional, okay? Planes go down and pilots die. Unacceptable! They stopped, sir. Now's our chance. Yes! I'll oh, give him everything we've got, Sammy J! Fire! Sir! Ah! <laughs> Damn it! More missiles! But wait, Chief! Huh? If we hit those whales, it's a federal offense. Ah! That's thinking with the old noggin! <laughs> oh. no! <laughs> ah! Sir Uncle is very mad at me. I'm such a failure. Here it is. Coping mechanisms for dealing with a depressed child. Always stress to your child that they are not alone in the time of difficulty by showing love. That and Linda. She sure looked like Mama. What's that? Don't ever say that again, Noel. Why not? Just because... Leon wouldn't like you making comparisons like that. Mm. Right, Dad. Oh, guess what? Look what I got you, Dad. Huh? 
<laughs> we should make a toast. A farewell to Earth. Let's all go to Mars. What? What are we going to do there? We're going to find your mother, like I said. Okay. Dolores, here's all the evidence that I need. I just know she's alive. Can I go to Mars, too? Of course. As far as I'm concerned, your family. Well, doesn't that warm your heart? Yep. Can't break bonds of blood. Destiny! All that I care about, all that matters to me, is that we all stay together from now on. Well done, old man. <laughs> 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 Don't waste another beer. <laughs>